Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your December 2023 tarot reading. This is a reading for all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hey, thanks to all of you for all the support throughout the year. I can hardly believe that we are entering into the last month of 2023. I hope the year has been good to you, but if it's been challenging, if you've had some setbacks and some heartaches, 2024 is just around the corner and it has all kinds of possibilities. Now, I want to get into this, but first I'd like to welcome anyone who's new here and let you all know I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. Fridays are a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. Today's reading will be a detailed Celtic cross style reading, but then next week will be something else. I have been adding in Wednesday readings. I have a couple of bonus readings coming out in November and December on Wednesday. So if you don't mind hitting the like button on this reading, it does something to the algorithm so people will see the reading, but then it will also tell YouTube to put those Wednesday readings into your algorithm so you'll know they're out there. What advice do you have for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Aquarius need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Aquarius? Messages for Aquarius, please. Okay. We are going to lay out the tarot cards here, then we'll pull a Moonology Manifestation Oracle card. Current situation, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Life. The immediate influence is the Seven of Wands. You have the Hermit in your subconscious, the world in the distant past. The Nine of Swords in the more recent past, the Ace of Wands is coming towards you. You're represented by the Fool. You're attracting the Four of Pentacles. You've got the Eight of Pentacles and your hopes and fears. I like this. The Six of Cups and the outcome. What a brilliant energy. Now, I tell you what, if you have some kind of a breakup here, I feel like this person cannot get you off of their mind. And I, we're going to talk about other things here. But I do get some kind of an ending with you. You're going to have new new people coming in. You have an apology here, no doubt about it. But you have reconnection too. So we'll, we'll get into this a little more. We have here four major arcana. We have five major arcana, pardon me. We have Virgo. We have uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo is here. But we've got a new big transition, new cycle coming in for you. And I feel like it brings joy and freedom. All right, what else does Aquarius need to know, please? All right, you have here first quarter moon in Cancer. Push through any insecurity. Isn't that a beautiful card? Look, if you have any kind of Caribbean travel, maybe you're getting down to Barbados or Antigua or somewhere like that, very beautiful beaches there. I do feel like somebody here, it's like you've got some kind of reset coming in. And I mean that in terms of spiritual, mental, emotional, maybe physical too. Something that allows you to kind of be back to center. So that as you move forward, you may not even, when they say insecurity, you might be going, what insecurity? I don't feel that. But if there's something at all, even any shred of doubt, I just see you as allowing that to be released and moving forward. And that may be what gets people coming back around too, because you know how that is. Once you disconnect from your their energy, they cannot stand it, okay? So I do feel like you're going to be getting a lot of attention. Now, if you had a job that ended or you had some kind of an idea that just didn't make it to fruition, you're trying to start some kind of business on your own or side hustle or something that just didn't quite get off the ground, I feel like that's actually going to be, I heard foray, is that what I'm thinking of? Isn't there a gambling term when people, no, parlay, that's what I'm thinking. They're both words that I guess could be applied. Um, but I feel like it's like it almost like whatever whatever avenue didn't quite work out, it's actually it's actually connected into something new. That's what I'm getting on that. So it could be an old coworker that goes, oh, you got to come over here. You got to see about this place. But I, I feel like whatever it is, whatever has ended, I feel like the people around you are, are that nine of swords, okay, that they're thinking about you. They're wanting things to be right with you. I feel like too, like I said, they may even come back if it's a relationship wanting to get back together, but I even get that with a job, somebody that wants you back. And if you had some kind of a volunteer commitment, 
I know it sounds a little bit mundane, but like if you were at the, the head of your neighborhood association and you live in one of those neighborhoods where they've got like these wild Facebook groups where they just attack each other and you decided, I'm not dealing with this, or you were in some kind of a community organization where there was a lot of that and you stepped away because it was too negative, I do feel like they're going to want you back. Anything you've left and you're moving on from, again, they feel your energy moving on and it makes people chase. As soon as you start running and you say, I don't need this noise, they're going to come running behind you. So with the magician energy, you have a field of influence. I'm telling you what, mind your feelings. So again, that may be part of you disconnecting from things that feel negative, where you already can tell you naturally know this is not something I want to expend my energy on. Because with the magician, it's almost like miracle grow. You are a manifesting magnet and your feelings are all the key to it. So I feel like you're going to be in this place where you're looking to connect to positive forward-moving, goal-driven kinds of things. We're not looking for reasons why not. We're coming from a place of yes. Now with that six of wands, again, you're going to be getting lots and lots of attention here. You may get a lot of social invitations too. Now I feel like in a job offer, if they don't, if they don't offer you the kind of money that you know you're worth, I feel like you're going to be saying no to that. Or if you've already had an offer and they were not offering you what you need, whether it was money or it was compensatory, like time off and stuff like that. I feel like they're going to, if you already turned it down, I'm not telling you to turn down a job, but if you already did, I feel like they're going to come back around and say, oh, guess what? We found money in the budget. Don't you just love that? And it's like, uh-huh. But it's going to be up to you to decide. And so I feel like the seven of wands here, to some extent, represents your energy, but it also represents people who are trying to connect with you. They're going to be very persistent, all right? And so I feel like as you move forward towards your goals and you have this unshakable faith, you have an unstoppable magnetism, chemistry, and also to mindset, I feel like whatever it is that you're doing, the seven of wands, goal-driven energy is going to get you there. So you've got the wheel of life. And so this is where life gets busy and picks up. So you're gonna, like I said, have a lot of opportunities you may find that you're very busy. You have lots of social opportunities as well. And so if people aren't treating you in the way that you know you deserve, you're not going to stick around. I mean, that's how this goes. You don't need to. And so isn't that the thing when it's like all of a sudden we're not as accessible, they suddenly change their behavior, right? And so with that wheel of fortune, though, this also too, for some of you, may be a change of scenery. And I do feel like if you have a relationship that ended and you're considering moving, I, I feel like this is the kind of person who would almost get on a plane and try to hold the plane if they could, you know, like one of those things you'd see in a movie. I don't know that it would be quite to that level, but that's the energy I feel like somebody that would really go to all ends to say, hey, wait a minute, let me just make sure, is there a second chance? And if you say no, I do feel like they'll move along. But I do feel like with that wheel of fortune, expect the unexpected. So if you say, that would sure surprise me because my ex is a real bump. I mean, they don't move for anything. I still feel like you have something here where you're going to have somebody that really wants to try to make a go of it with you. Now, if it's a new person, it also may be that they're moving to the area. I get it here, but I also want to point out too, you have the first and last major arcana plus the magician. I mean, this is an incredible energy. Like I said, you have a big transition. So if it's something that a move has already occurred, there's something about this. You may meet somebody new and they've they've moved here and that's part of the deal and why the world is here. But either way, I do feel like this energy is bringing you towards your heart's desire. So get ready with this wheel because it truly is a card that moves in your favor and allows life to evolve. It also lets you know when to hang on and when to let go. So those of you that let go, it's let go to receive. With the hermit in your subconscious, this is a card of success. It brings in balance. It also brings in mental, emotional, and spiritual security. So as they said, let go of insecurity. If some of you are like, insecure who? What are you talking about? I do feel like with this, you're you're projecting it from your subconscious. This this energy of tranquility will attract people like nobody's business. Because like I said, when you quit giving, I hear two Fs. That's when they all seem to want to show up. And so even with a job where you're like, look, I don't, I don't need that job. I didn't need that job. It's not enough whatever money compensation. I do feel like with this, you're on the path. This energy of the hermit also too 
that lantern that he guides you through at the night, that bright light, people almost can't look away from you. So even if they tried to, or like I said, they tried to lowball you with an offer, or if it was something you were selling and somebody tried to lowball you, I do feel like they're going to come back with a, a, a reasonable, how about a respectable offer? Because it isn't even, doesn't even seem reasonable as much as like, look, I don't even respect this. I'm not even having a conversation with you. But with the energy of the hermit, you know your worth. And so I just feel like you are going to be attracting, attracting, attracting. So with the energy of the world, this is in the past, but it's celebration, it's rejuvenation. And even though it is in the past, when we see cards like this, it the, truly what you're getting right now is what you were. And so especially if you meet somebody right now or you get that apology or that opportunity that you just cannot say no to, because guess what? The Ace of Wands is a yes card. Those of you that are asking, am I going to be happy? How about yes? You have dreams come true and fairy tale endings here. So with the energy of the world, this robust energy moves everything forward here. It's like the time in your life where it's true perfection, where you just want to stop time and, and cap, put time in a capsule right here. And now if you do anything, I know this seems like an odd connection, but if you do anything with time capsules, I even get like if you did something a long time ago or maybe one of your kids did something in school, being on the receiving end of that, getting something like mailed to your house or something that just it feels nostalgic. So with this nine of swords here in the more recent past, I'm telling you what, this does not feel like you as much as it feels like people around you that when you're retracting your energy, they're like, they don't know what to do. I heard forlorn. They're feeling very forlorn because they're unsure. And so I do feel like with this nine of swords, it's also recognition where you say, look, I know my worth. If if you don't recognize it, you know, at the same time that I do, you may not have a chance. That's just how it is. And so with this Ace of Wands, you have more opportunities coming in. And I do feel like you have more than one. So for some, if it's something you're selling, you may have more than one offer. And I do feel like if somebody kind of screwed around with you and tried to lowball you, you'll take the better, you'll take the newer person that didn't do that. I just feel like it's there's some kind of a lesson here for people around you. As we know, we we teach people how to treat us. And in some ways, I feel like you're the teacher, okay? In, in both ways, really. I mean, we're always learning from one another. But I do feel like your boundaries are very, they're very important in this reading. So with this Ace of Wands, you run happy, wild, and free. And so with this one, it's life gets exhilarating. It is in terms of a attraction, you have chemistry like nobody's business. Now, if you are asking about reconciliation, you do. This is an honest apology. It is somebody that's sincere, but I would say too, with the Six of Cups, because this also can be sentimental longing and nostalgia. If it is an ex, I do feel like they come from a good place. Okay, they're serious about this. So if you're entertaining it, I, you do have a second chance, and I do feel like it's meaningful. Now, your energy though with the Fool ready or not, here I come. It's like you're ready to just take life by the horns. It's like, bring it on. I'm ready. And so with this full energy, I mentioned before, people are going to be very attracted to you. There's an easiness about the full, but there's also that sense of a vision quest, like you're ready for anything. There's nothing here that can slow you down. So anything you put your mind to, if you're looking to write a book or start a business or do your own kind of side hustle, anything like that, or even go into a new job. This is the beginner's mind. So you will collect information. All the information that you need to be successful will be right in your path. It'll be very easy for you to move forward in this energy. So with the fool, it's, this is truly a time of infinite opportunities. That moment of excitement when you say, I know that anything is available to me. So this Four of Pentacles, for some of you, like I said, I feel like you're going to reject offers that just aren't worth your time. That's what I get here. It's almost like you are the Four of Pentacles and the people around you better bring a lot to the table or there's just not going to be much of a, a conversation. Now, with that Eight of Pentacles here, more money comes in, by the way. That's what this shows. But it's also long-term stability. So like I said, I feel like you can be choosy in this energy. And with the Six of Cups and the outcome, it really is a return to love, a return to trust. If you're moving, it feels like Pleasantville where you say, this is exactly what I dreamed of right here, right now, and I am living it. So you have a great energy coming in. I feel like it takes you all the way into 2024. 
but I keep watching readings because I feel like the best is yet to come. So let's see here. What else you need to know about love here for Aquarius? You have love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. So definitely true because you your energy is that of love. You come from source. All right, what else does Aquarius need to know, please? You have the lion. Harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. Isn't that strong? So I just, I do, I get this energy with the fool. Like you're going to go out there and take life by the horns. Good things are on the way for you, Aquarius. I love you and I'll be back again soon.